hello good people. Today I wanted to look at two SDXL models that are known to be photorealistic and we're going to put them head to head. The first one is RealViz XL version 1 and the crowd favorite Juggernaut XL which was actually recently updated to version 3 just this past September 5th. And to do the comparisons I did aspect ratios of 1024 by 1024. I only put 30 steps with a CFG of 6, DPM++ SDE Keras. I left the seeds to be random because I found most of the images were very similar anyway. And I wanted to see how the prompts reacted to the models. As for the prompts, I did keep it pretty simple, but I also wanted a certain look. And in all the prompts, I added cinematic film still, analog, just to enhance that type of look. And the rest is modifiers to describe the image. No intricate details, high quality, any of that stuff. And I find with SDXL, those things aren't really necessary most of the time. Very simple negative prompts as well. For the first set of images, we have Juggernaut here on the left and RealViz on the right. At first glance, I lean towards Juggernaut, but they're both very comparable. The skin texture is just a tad smooth. It almost has that hyper-realistic look, but I'm sure with a bit more prompting, we could pull out more photorealism from it. However, if you look at the hair here, there's a bit of purple and I did put that in the prompt. So I find Real Viz listens to the prompt a tad better in this situation. Here we have some half body shots with Juggernaut on the left, Real Viz on the right. And I'll probably keep that sequence moving forward. And once again, very comparable. They're both very good. I like that the sunset lighting comes out a bit more and it has much softer lighting than Real Viz here, even though the prompt calls for soft lighting. But again, because the seeds are random, I can't fault it for doing that. If I were to pick a winner for this round, I would say Juggernaut by half a point, but I'd have no problems using Real Viz XL. This time around, I wanted to do more of a cinematic type of shot. Now the obvious thing, Real Viz looks brighter on the right and Juggernaut has more of a darker dramatic tone. And that was pretty consistent from all my testing, regardless if the seed was the same or not. But you can also argue that this is more of that cinematic look. Dramatic lighting is often harder shadows, more darker in contrast. And I find the likeness of Chris Evans just a bit more for Juggernaut. If I zoom in just a tad here and we look at the straps, the texture on the costume, very pleasing results. Not to say Juggernaut's bad, the texture is there as well and just as defined. It really comes down to personal preference at this point. Moving on to some car photos here. I do lean towards real viz. The color is more richer. I do get a better sense of motion here, even though it's a front view shot. And I like the look of the wet streets here. Very interesting reflections here. I don't know where those reflections are coming from because the headlights don't even mimic that. Similar thoughts for these two shots. I do lean towards real viz. I just find the overall shot more believable, but in terms of the car styles, both look really great, but I'd be totally happy with either one. For the car round, I'm going to give a slight edge again by half a point to real viz. For these two images, I wanted to do something sci-fi, but still sort of cinematic. And I kind of messed up the dimensions on real viz, but whatever. <laughs> this one is really a toss up because I love the look of both of them. And the prompt was basically biomechanical cyberpunk tiger. And they both have really great details with the wiring and the cables here. But the one advantage Juggernaut did have, and that is in the prompt, I put rusted texture and it came through Juggernaut better here, whereas RealViz was slightly cleaner. If we take a closer look here, especially like on the leg here, you see the rust spots, the dirt, that's the kind of look I was going for. And look at the teeth, the teeth look great. With real viz, I really like the details here. A tad too clean for me. But at this point, I'm just being nitpicky. And for this round, I wanted to have something simple but realistic. Two glasses of beer with some foam dripping. We did get the foam for Juggernaut, but it's not exactly dripping here. I do like how the refraction is on these glasses. And the overhead lights look really cool as well. For this set of images, I did get a bit of foam here from real viz. 
but I do like the slight deeper contrast in blacks in Juggernauts as well. In all honesty, I don't think you can lose with either model. I just feel like Juggernaut's slightly more mature, and it should be because it's on version 3 now. While real Viz, this is version 1, but I do see some amazing potential with it. One of the advantages Juggernaut has is that there's a Laura that goes with it that'll enhance it even further. Real Viz is no slouch though. I'm going to continue to experiment more. And hey, if you've tried out these models already, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. I'm thinking about doing more model comparisons. Maybe in the next one I'll focus on fantasy, but if there's any models models you want me to check out, let me know in the comments below as well. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.